Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the next BYOP for the month of September basically. Uh, we made a lot of September now, so I guess September, October. Um, currently I do not have anything in my BYOP because I recently did a single eyeshadow declutter and if you haven't seen that, that was my last video to go up. So go check out that first if you don't want any spoilers in that video. Um, because yeah, obviously I have my new palettes right here now. We don't have declutter in them but this one is currently empty, so I'm going to uh, fill this up again. Uh, so I can't really go through what shades I had in here. Um, because again, I have removed them because of that video. But yeah, I'm going to fill up this palette and I'm going to go through each and every one of my single eyeshadow palettes and pick out what I want. So I'll zoom out a bit and here we have the magnetic palette I'm going to fill up and obviously up here I have the actual palette. So we're going to go through each and every one of them and decide what to add into this palette. So first up we have my JD Glow eyeshadows right here and I do love these but also it's like hard to add these in because they're so big so they take up quite a lot of space in this palette. Um... I don't want to add any of these in. The one that I really, I mean, these two to be honest are beautiful eyeshadows, especially for autumn. Do I want to pull one of them in? No. Uh, not this month. Maybe next month I will, but I do want to play around with some more singles this month because I have added quite a few things to my collection recently. So, not this month, but maybe next month I will add in some of my Jaded Glow eyeshadows. Next up, we have this little single palette right now, which is like a miscellaneous palette. I mean, it is kind of like my iridescent. Um, eyeshadows, um, most of them at least, and and yeah, in here there's definitely like quite a few different shades that are really really stunning. Don't want to add any of these in. I maybe want to add in one of my glam shop shades, but I'm not quite sure yet which one. This one is a pink leaning one, and it's called Poswata. And this might actually be quite a strong contender on what to pull in because it is a really stunning shade and I haven't played with this one this year yet. It's like a pink to green kind of multi-chrome has some gold in it too. So yeah, I think I'm going to add this one in. Any others? What about this one here? This one is the shade Pill Kiss Kiskowski. I, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the Polish language. But yeah, I just can't pronounce these names, but this is the one here. It's a rather, not a really stunning shade, but this one is a bit more kind of blue leaning. Don't want to add both of those in, you just have some variety. I haven't played with these two very much, so I think I'm going to add those two in, and those can be my two iridescent shades to play around with for this month. And then that means that this palette will be finished. Next up, we have my kind of Colourpop uh, single minor palette. I have all my Colourpop shades in here, and eventually I am going to get these out, but I right now I don't have space for them anywhere else. These are more kind of like glittery shades. They don't quite iridescent, but they are kind of like glittery shades. And yeah, they can't really fit anywhere else at the moment. And this one I do want to pan. But yeah, for now they are staying here. But otherwise, this is everything that I own from Colourpop, like the Potter singles right now. Um, and is there anything in here that I want to add in? Um, we are moving into autumnal months, like the autumn months. So I want to kind of do those colours. Um... Is there anything in here? I don't think there's anything in here that I want to pull in right now. I have some beautiful shades, but I just want to play around with other singles this month. So I'm not going to pull anything from this palette at the moment. So, moving on to my bigger palettes. The first one we have is the Sydney Grace palette right here. Which has all my kind of purple shades. Um, is there anything in here? I definitely think I want to pull in some shades. One that is just calling out to me because it looks absolutely stunning because I can see the shift in it right now. That is this shade right here. Um, yeah, it's like a um, kind of green to purple. It's absolutely stunning. This is again an add from Glam Shop, I think, and this is the shade Laser. I really want to play around with this one because I think it's a good autumnal shade. Um, and yeah, I, I love this one, so I want to play, pull this one in as well. Is there anything else from this palette? Um... There's a lot of kind of grey tones down here, and I don't know if I want to pull any of those in right now. Um, the purples are really stunning, but I don't think there's anything I really want to pull in out of those right now. I want to do more kind of like a warm tone, like toasty kind of autumnal palette, and yeah, these are not really it. Um, the only shade, like I said, I wanted is this one here, so I think I'm going to skip this palette for now and move on to the next one. The next palette is another Sydney Grace palette, and this one has more kind of my neutral shades, so I definitely think I'm going to pull in some things from here. One thing that I do want to pull in that I know I'm going to 
want to play around with more because it is a bit deceiving in the pan is this shade here. This is the one that I remember from my declutter because this is the shade Ada from Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini which is the potter shade and it always shows up way more kind of red toned than it looks in the pan. Um, yeah, it's this one here. So I do want to pull this one in to play with it and see if it's something that I want to keep because it's always very deceiving to me what this looks like and I think this will pair really nicely with something like laser. I have this as a base and then put that one on top. So that is going to be the next shade. I feel like I should put in some more kind of shades from here. Um, some kind of like more toasty, kind of warm tone shades. Um, I do have like a deep brown in my pan la palette so I don't need to pull in anything like that. I also have like a very nice like you know setting shades I think you have in other palettes. I don't need that at the moment. Um, I do maybe want to pull in this shade which I think is a hollow shade again from Glam Shop. It's going to be a lot of Glam Shop this month but I'm not too, um, you know, it doesn't really matter too too much. This is the shade Slotte Hollow which I think is Golden Hollow. Uh, and I think this is another one that I want to pull in because it's more of a kind of neutral um, kind of holographic shade and I want to play around with this one as well. Okay, so is there anything else I want to pull in from here? This one looks really, really stunning, and this is the shade Starfish from the Pastel Roses. So now the kind of duochrome shade, it goes from like a green to a reddish kind of base. I don't know how well you can pick that up on camera. Sorry, not reddish base, more like a reddish shift, I guess. Um, let me swatch it out and see. Oh, that's so stunning. I want to pull this one in too. Don't know how much you can pick that up, but it's it's a stunning, stunning shade. And it has like a again kind of warm toned base with like a pinkish shift in it. It has some blue to it as well. It's absolutely stunning, and I want to pull this one in as well. I don't think that's going to be too similar to a laser. No, this one is definitely more kind of warm tone. This is a bit more cool tone. It has like a purple base as well. So I do think those two are different enough. So moving on to the rest of these, is there anything else I want to pull in? Maybe I want to pull in like one of these warm toned browns. Although I am panning. A few of them, maybe it will be too similar to my Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I do think I want to pull in some more mattes though, but I'm not kind of sure what I want to pull in again. I think it's too similar to my Modern Renaissance. Maybe something like this, which is a really light kind of tonsil shade. Maybe something like that would work. Um, which one do I want? I think this one kind of talks to me the most. I think this is this is shade Camel from Sydney Grace. This one will be a nice kind of transition shade to add in. So I think that's going to be another matte I'm pulling in. I'm not going to have too many mattes this month because this is going to be kind of more complementary neutral shades that I can pair with my Panda palette and other neutral shades that I'm panning. So again, that is going to be the next shade and I think that is it for this palette as well. Okay, so we're almost full with the palette but again, I do think... I'm picking more from the kind of neutral shades rather than just everywhere. Um, in here, these are more kind of brighter shades. In, is there anything else I want to kind of pull in? Any kind of maybe shimmer that I want to pull in? Maybe this shade here would be nice. Again, I think this might be from Glam Shop. It's the shade Bombassi. I think, oh, that's such a stunning shade. Oh, yeah, I want to pull that one in. <laughs> I'm almost going to fill this whole palette up with Glam Shop, um, but I haven't played around with Glam Shop too much this year, so I want to pull them in and give them some love, and that is such a stunning shade. Uh, is any of the mattes up, up here that I want to add in, maybe? Um, no, again, I, I just have enough mattes in my Panda palette, so I think it should be good with the ones I have in there, and yeah, I can play around with these at some other point when I don't have... So many transition shades to work on and finish. I mean, these are more kind of yellow toned, I guess. So I guess that could be nice to pull in. But I do also have my gold, Natasha and my gold palette out at the moment. And that has a lot of those shades. So I think I'm going to skip those for now. We have one final palette, which I think is my blue and green. Yeah, it is. So again, from here, I'm not sure how much I will pull out. Um, maybe like one more kind of shimmer shade. Again, I might just stick with the Glam Shop and go for this one here, which is a stunning shade. And this one is a No One and a Glam Shop one, and this is in the shade Zigzag. It's a bit more kind of deeper based, but again, it's a very shifty kind of shade. And yeah, it's it's stunning. Let me see, comparing it to this one here. You know, they're different. Definitely different. They're all different, and I feel like, again, I want to give my Glam Shop shades more love, so I think this is going to be another one that I'm going to pull in. 
And with that, all the brown pants that I can fit in here are done, which is perfect because we have just finished my last um, kind of round pan palette. There would be kind of shades like this I would love to kind of play around with as well, which I think is actually also Glam Shop. Yeah, it is. I don't know why the Glam Shop shades are just pulling me in today. I think it's because I've been playing around with my with my Terra Moon shade in different projects. Or in a project where I'm reaching for all of them. And then, you know, my Sydney Grace ones are beautiful, but I did have been reaching for them a little bit because I got some new shades. And I just want to play with more kind of special shades now because I feel like I'm, I'm really craving just beautiful kind of special shimmers and yeah that is kind of what I want this month to be and I think that's kind of what this palette is at the moment it's just full of loads of special beautiful shimmers obviously with two mattes but I'm really happy with that so I'm gonna put this palette away as well and pull out my last palette with Cleon eyeshadows so lastly like I said we have my Cleon eyeshadows the first one we have is this one here and I don't think there's anything in here that I want to pull in at the moment. I have some iridescent shades already. These are more kind of brighter shades and I don't want to pull them in with this palette because I don't feel like they go with this aesthetics. The only one I would think is Bloodline. But I have used that one so much this year that I don't think I want to pull that one in. So yeah, nothing in this palette. The second palette here are kind of the original stained glass eyeshadows that I had in my collection. And I definitely think there's some in here that I can pull in. And one that is kind of talking to me is this one here, which I think is opulent. Unless it's too similar to that one. No, they're definitely different. So I can pull that one in. I want to play around with this shade. And I think it's a bit more cool tone than a lot of the things that I have this month in my BYOP. So this is one that I'm going to pull in. And again, this is the shade Opulent. And there you have Opulent. I think you can only fit one more shade in here, this palette. And what do I want to pull in for that? Let me see what I have already. Um, I was thinking to put it in like a, maybe a green shade, but I have a lot of those. Um, I, sorry, you can't even see it. I have a lot of those right here. Like, I mean, they're not green necessarily, but they have green shifts in them. I have this one, which is very, very similar to, I think it's Blaze. Um, so I'm not going to pull in that either. Um, anything else that is kind of talking to me? Maybe I want a bit more of a neutral kind of shimmer. Um... And I think this is one that I'm currently looking at, which I think is foiling. Um, yeah, it is foiling. It is a bit of a kind of golden shade again, but it's just a bit more neutral. And I think that would be nice. Um, it does have a bit of a shift, but it's not as kind of extreme as the other ones. So I think this is going to be a nice one to pull in, just to give a little bit more neutrality to the palette. Um, and it still kind of goes with that really nice and toasty vibe, which I think will again pair really nicely also with, also too with my uh, Panda palette. So yeah, that is going to be the next shade. I actually think I can fit one more there. Um, so let me see if I can do that and what do I want to pull in then? Uh, do I want to pull in like any kind of deeper iridescent shade? Maybe I do. Maybe I want to pull in this if they all look so different like we're looking from them from the side. So I'm not quite sure. If this is the correct one, but I think this is... Oh, it's Sandblast. Hmm, I thought that was going to be kill. Maybe Sandblast is nice too, though. It definitely has that, like, autumn kind of feel to it. Um, yeah, it's not very shiny, though, but it's so shifty. You can definitely see the shift on this one. That is a contender. Um, is this... Is this Kiln, then? Yeah, this one is Kiln. So let's compare those and see which one I want to pull in. I mean, they are very similar, but Kiln is a bit more kind of pink leaning, which is beautiful, but not quite what I want at the moment. Then we have this shade here, which I believe would be Forge. Yeah, maybe Forge is a nice one too. Again, a bit more pink leaning though, but it has like a really nice strong green shift. And I haven't played around with Forge nearly as much as I want to. I feel like Forge is like the mix between Kiln and Sandblast. I think Forge is the one I'm going to pull in, so this is going to be the last eyeshadow. So, there we have the palette. And also, if you're wondering why I didn't pull out my new Cleo and eyeshadow palette, which will have all the new expansion kind of shades, it's because I've been reaching for this palette anyway for shimmers. And I don't think I want to take anything out from here. I just want to reach for things whenever I want to. And not, I don't want to build a BYOP with this one yet. So yeah, this is going to be like an additional BYOP, I guess. But this is going to be my kind of main one. So that's why I didn't pull anything from the new expansion range. So again, this is what the palette looks like. I'm very, very happy. It's exactly what I wanted, kind of like 
autumnal vibes. We have used a couple mattes, but again, I will have a complementary palette with my Panda palette. And the rest of these are just beautiful shimmers. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this out and we can wrap up this video. So there you have my BYOP, here are all the swatches, I'm really really happy with it. I did try to take some footage from my phone with all the shift because all of these are super super shifty, like you know, yeah, they're just stunning stunning shades and yeah, I really really love them. I was just staring at myself in the mirror <laughs> with all the shifts but this is what my palette turned out like and I'm really happy with it. I was wondering if I wanted to rearrange it but since it's mainly just shimmer shades and you know, they all kind of with the same type of vibe. I am happy with the way it is. I'm happy with like this kind of be the matte row. Obviously this is a shimmer but you know, this is like an iridescent and then some mattes and then we have like the more kind of, I don't know, pink neutral kind of tones. I guess it would make sense switching these two around because then you have the pink row, then the green leaning row, and then my Cleona actually is there. But honestly, I'm not too fast. I'm very happy with the way it is. And with that, we're gonna actually go ahead and wrap up this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't checked out my eyeshadow clutter that I did, again, it's my last video. I really, really am pleased with how much I decluttered. I am very happy with the collection that I have now, and I'm very excited to play around with these shades as well. But I'm gonna wrap it up for today. I really hope you enjoyed it, like I said, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.